Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the eHobby exclusive Transformers G1 acrylic logos. For all the amazing figures coming out of Japan, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so these two acrylic logos are eHobby exclusives in Japan, uh, but of course, um, unluckily, in Australia I can't order directly from eHobby, um, and so the only other alternative was Big Bad Toy Store. Um, and luckily enough they had some stock. They did sell out at pre-order pretty quickly within a day or two uh, from when uh, Big Bad Toy Store listed them. Um, there were these English versions and the Japanese writing versions as well. Um, and I guess the price from Big Bad Toy Store was a significant markup from the eHobby uh, retail price. Um, if you're in Japan and you were lucky enough to, to be able to order these, I think they only retailed for the equivalent of about US $15, uh, but Big Bad Toy Store had the exclusive markup uh, for their international exporting um, to be about, I think it was between 40 and 45 US dollars, uh, which when you think about it is a pretty ridiculous price to pay for such a small acrylic piece. Uh, but uh, now that I have them in hand, um, I wouldn't say that they're worth the money, but um, I guess for a nice addition to your Transformers Masterpiece display, I would say uh, they do add that little extra bit of premium touch to the display. So I'll just uh, give you guys a closer look. Um, they both come in uh, two separate pieces uh, in the packaging. Um, so you just take them apart. So there's an acrylic base uh, that's just the uh, clear acrylic plastic there with the hole in the middle and uh, that just sticks into the uh, the peg there so then you just uh, sort of stick it in like so um, you have uh, the front there the rear is just um, the back of that particular print and with a bit of Japanese writing there and you can see where the two sides of the acrylic piece just uh, get glued together essentially to hold that internal print. Um, it is pretty nicely nicely done I would say. Nice and clear with that uh, uh, gorgeous uh, classic logo. Uh, the Decepticon is pretty much the same. Uh, of course in the nice purple colouring there. And the overall quality of the acrylic is uh, pretty nice. I would say it's about 4mm uh, four thick. 4-5mm four to five mil thick I would say. Um, so half a centimetre. Uh, which is uh, pretty good for um, strength, I guess. Um, so it doesn't flex or anything like that. Um, it's pretty sturdy with those two pieces together. So um, the only thing you probably need to watch out for is uh, fingerprints. It is a, a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, but um, I have been using my own fingers. Uh, there's no scratches or anything like that that I can see that I'm causing just uh, by handling it, uh, which is a good thing. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. I might uh, grab Megatron and uh, Optimus here and just uh, give you guys a size comparison. Hold on. Right, so here you have MP36 Megatron and MP44 Optimus Prime and the logos at their feet there. So you, hopefully that gives you a feel for the size. They're only about maybe oh, five centimeters tall um, and about 10 centimeters wide. Um, so nothing too uh, spectacular in size. Uh, but for that uh, little added touch to your masterpiece um, display in the cabinet, um, it does uh, add a little bit of class to it, I think. Um, so um, I guess they're pretty much sold out now at Big Bad Toy Store, and um, I'm not sure how they're, they're being sold on eBay or if there are people just making recasts or something like that for them. Um, but uh, for 45, for 40 US dollars, um, I wouldn't say they're worth it as I was saying before, but um, I guess just for a little bit of, um, if you do have a uh, spare cash lying around, then um, by all means try to get your hands on them if uh, you weren't lucky enough to, to get the eHobby exclusive at the, uh, the cheaper retail price. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I might take some more photos up uh, on the Facebook page uh, with the logo and uh, a few of the other characters, so I'm s hopefully you can head, head over to the Facebook page and check those out um, in the next uh, few days. But until then, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.